the ECB has last conducted its strategy review in 2003. That's 16 years ago. And in those 16 years, many things have happened. New challenges are taking place from demographic changes, aging of societies, predominantly in the, in the advanced economies, but also massive technological changes and breakthrough, especially when they're compounded. And climate change has finally reached the mainstream debate and is hitting the screen on of everyone who is interested in the future and has policy responsibilities. Finally, conventional wisdom that used to apply has been challenged and monetary policy globally has had to explore uncharted territories. So this really calls on us to review our strategy and to consider how our monetary policy can best deliver on its mandate. It would be premature and it would be uh, counterproductive in my view at this point in time for me to sort of settle on what the strategic review will be because the whole point of the exercise is precisely to first of all include the entire governing council in the framing of that strategic review and to open avenues for dialogue with all those who are interested in the matter. That includes experts. That includes, first and foremost, you, as the conduit for the views that you hear from your constituencies. And that two-way street communication that I very much believe in will really find its place in that strategic review. Third, civil society representatives will also need to have a conduit, and I welcome very much their views in relation to monetary policy and how we can deliver on our mandate.